naked from the waist down. One, two, three, four. We want to say hi to everybody watching live in Manhattan on MNN. We want to say hi to everybody watching live at thechrisgethardshow.com, as well as anybody who might be downloading this in the future. Very, very happy to be here tonight on what promises to be a fascinating piece of public access television. I should just go ahead, first of all, and say this. We're very proud of the show. This is episode 99. Next week is our 100th episode, which we're all super excited about. Thank you. And, um, you know, sometimes with this show... Uh, we show, we've done, we've had, we've had presidential debates. Legitimate, actual presidential candidates have come on our show and debated. We've had celebrity guests. We've had movie stars. We've built elaborate time travel sets where, that allow us to make this whole studio look like ancient Rome. And then sometimes the lights just don't work. <laughs> sometimes you show up and the lights don't turn on and this is the extent of the light that you have to operate in, in a 40 by 40 foot studio. But I think that's part of the charm of our show. What people like about our show is you never know when things might go wrong. And they often do. And um, a lot of people online I've noticed have been complaining like, oh, you guys have gotten too good at this. The show is more polished than it used to be. I, I, miss, I miss when it used to get all fucked up all the time. Well, you're welcome. It is what you wanted it to be. Tonight we have a very interesting show. As you may notice, um, before I even get into that, the LLC has played us in, of course. Woo! Johnny and Bill, special guest Paul. Mimi on the hoops is over there in the dark with a light up hoop. She just appears to be a spinning circle of light tonight. That is, in fact, Mimi. And the man behind the plant, buried in the back tonight, Woo! man behind the plant. How you doing back there? Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah, my grandmother saw you say happy birthday to me. She was very happy. That's awesome. I'm glad I made your grandmother happy. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, we want to bring out our, our, our guest. Uh, let's go ahead. First of all, Murph, the reservoir dog, the scourge of Gimbal himself, a man of the cloth. A man, a man of the man cloth. Of the cloth. <laughs> How are you, Murph? How you feeling? Good, man. Feeling great. Wonderful. And then the human fish, the creature from the sea, figuring out the world of men is here tonight. Human fish. How are you? Human fish, what's on your mind right now? Mike Tyson versus Mike O'Malley. Mike Tyson <laughs> versus Mike O'Malley. Who wins? Mike O'Malley. Yeah! And the guy who caused tonight's episode to happen, a mystery, but a person who our crowd has embraced I mean, it's like, you, it's like uh, our already cult audience has embraced him as their cult hero within the cult. <laughs> Messenger Bag is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How are you? Step inside the light. How are you, Messenger Bag? I'm good, Chris. So let's go ahead and tell everybody what's happening. Last week, we did an episode where we, we revealed every email that went into the planning of that show. We read like a couple, I would think, between one and 200 episode topics that our writers had pitched. People seemed to like a lot of them. Then at the end of the episode, Messenger Bag, you have already proven yourself a very strange man. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know how this show works, we always like to have what we call a random, a cast member who we've never met before who just shows up and becomes a part of the show. Messenger Bag showed up one day dancing in this Messenger Bag. Our crowd online said, you've got to get that guy to be the random, so Messenger Bag, you arrived. The week after that, you ate dog food off your hands. <laughs> and then the week after that, we asked you at the end of the episode, out of all those topics to pick, which would you pick? And you picked one that we are now going to do just because you fucking said we should do it. With, with no hesitation. No hesitation. <laughs> and I'm not into it at all. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, for some reason, which we'll figure out from Messenger Bag himself, we present to you Naked from the Waist Down. <laughs> Get naked 
from the waist down. Destination Dick Town. What's going on beneath that skirt? Are you an Ernie or are you a bird? Do you have a King Kong Schwanz? Full impacting a dog like the Fonz. Destination Dick Town. Okay. You're a fascinating gentleman. Thank you. <laughs> Out of all those hundreds of topics you could have picked, why did you pick a nudity-driven one? I, I thought I would kind of get credit for picking like an edgy one, and then we would do a, a, a nicer, cleanlier version. You know what I mean? So you do not even want to do this. <laughs> I'm cool with doing it. This is going to be fun, but I did not think that I would be seeing your dick today, Chris. <laughs> you shouldn't have picked that topic. <laughs> Remember, we want you to call us up, 212-757-1393. That's 212-757-1393. We get the teleprompter on. That would be fantastic. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to take calls. And I guess, as you can see, every female cast member of this show decided to take the night off. <laughs> Bethany was like, I'm out. Shannon was like, I'm going to go do some improv tonight. Hallie was like, have fun. <laughs> And I guess we're just going to do it. Uh, as everybody knows, we are not legally allowed to be naked on public access TV. Oh, it's frowned upon. I immediately brought that up as a way to get out of this because I do not want to do this. That being said, I think it was uh, JD was immediately yeah. like, we'll build something. We'll figure out a way. Yeah. So our intern Paige, who is 17 years old, <laughs> spent the whole week constructing a skirt. Intern Paige, who's been killing it. Do you want to bring forward the skirt? Okay. Page. You were telling me earlier, do we have a mic that she can use? You were saying you you made this skirt at a family gathering this week? You're stepping to the light. Oh, yeah, okay. I was at my grandparents' house for Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> Making a skirt for four grown men to get naked inside. Of it. Okay. Well, did anyone ask you what was going on? Uh, yeah, they did. What did you say? Um, just saying I was making a skirt. Not really, I didn't really give many details. They didn't get okay. weirded out by the size of it? Or... <laughs> they knew, okay, they knew it was for four men. I don't think they knew they were going to be naked. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, thank you. Intern Paige, let's go ahead. If we really could, I really, I, I can handle no lights or no teleprompter, but both is going to really kill us. Oh, also, our musical guest who we're so excited about tonight, Waxahachie, got sick. So this is the whole show. No breaks. No breaks. No breaks at all. This is an hour. Rob Malone and Beef Jerky are standing by. If the skirt should slip, they have a piece of fabric. We've also asked our studio audience to block any genitals from the view. Jersey Dave, anything we can do in terms of the teleprompter. All right, wonderful. So I guess, should we just go ahead? We just... Oh, God. Going shoes off, man. How else are you gonna take your pants off? I have these boots on. <laughs> I slip my shorts off. I'm keeping Murph, my you can correct. You wore like sweatpants shorts. Yeah, and I wore my Dr. J socks. So, human fish, you are. The rest of us are keeping shirts on. You are completely nude. Okay. okay. There are my my jeans. And there is my underwear. Okay. Everybody good? I don't know where to put my hands. <laughs> okay. This does feel old school. This feels like how it used to feel in the early days. Do we have a call? I believe uh, when we tested the phones, there was a guy named Pinecone on the line. Pinecone? <laughs> Pinecone, are you there? <laughs> Who's on the phone right now? We got no calls? <laughs> 212-757-1393. Okay, the teleprompter is broken. The lights are broken, and there are four men in a hand fashion skirt standing there. Who's on the line there? Pinecone's on the line. What's up, Pinecone? Hey, guys. Hey, Pinecone, where are you from, and why do they call you Pinecone? Oh, I call me Pinecone. I probably am one. <laughs> why Why do you think you're a Pinecone? You sound like a man. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. You tell me. All right, Pinecone, and where are you from? Where do you hail from? 
Uh, I hang out, you know, in Pennsylvania. That's cool. You seem like a real cool dude, Pinecone. Hey, Pinecone, what do you want to talk about tonight? You've got four half-naked men, one, three half-naked and one fully naked man inside the skirt. What I you know. I, I was hoping to have a question uh, for you, Chris. Okay. Well, I guess my question uh, relates to your genitals. Okay, that sounds fair for tonight, Pinecone. Perfect. I was wondering if your penis is even halfway as weird as your fingers are. Oh. Wow. That's not, that's not a bad thing. I no. love them. I love them. No, Pinecone, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. You thought that was going to be funny, and it, in fact, it was hurtful. <laughs> I do have messed up fingers, and it, it, hurt, it did hurt my feelings, and that's how we started the show. <laughs> and uh, Pinecone, this I, I is like a very them, honest joke. Fact, it's a, oh, okay. it's a right. very honest well, show, and I'm not going to hide those feelings from you. <laughs> that being well, said... Well, I'll tell you this right now. Uh, I feel bad now. That's okay. That's okay. I often feel bad. That right, being also, said, Chris, can you take a quick peek, and who, who's best down there? Who's <laughs> best? <laughs> so you want me to say who's best? You want them to say, okay, so everyone oh, no, 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 my fingers. A, I have an idea. Let the human fish do a four-way. Let the human fish do a four-way. <laughs> A four-way no, what? He's going to do a versus, 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 versus. Oh, who's best? Now, who's best? Okay. Well, he's going to be biased. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Who's best? 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 It's a four-way tie. Four-way tie. Four tie. All right, and anybody can ask me, I do have weird fingers, and my dick is weird as my fingers. Uh, no. No, Messenger Max says no. Okay, Pinecone, I want to thank you for your call. Somehow made me already, it made me feel ashamed of my fingers on the night when I was already sh feeling ashamed of the rest of my body. Sorry about the finger thing. Love you. Love you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Love you too, you overly comfortable weirdo. What a strange level of comfort for uh, 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 that guy. All right, who's on the phones now? Anybody on the phones? Who do we have? If you can hear me. <laughs> Hello, yes. This is Millie. Millie from New Hampshire, yeah. how are you? All right. Uh, hey, Millie, I'm before good. you start, I have, you've, been, you've been making ukulele videos for Howie's Ukulele Army and putting your videos up on the message board at our website, and you have a beautiful yeah. singing voice. Thank you. You do. Um, all right, so I have some questions from Jessie. You have some questions from Jessie. Okay, Jessie. She sent me a bunch of them because she can't watch Jessie Guacamole? What? Jessie Guacamole from the message board. Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's see. She wants to know who has the cutest butt. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 messenger me. bag, I do applaud the fact that you're still wearing the messenger bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was actually one of her other questions. Okay. Okay, to the answer to the first question, my opinion is that the human fish has the cutest butt. <laughs> Anybody else? I second that. Okay, yeah. Murph says it. That's pretty good. Okay, it seems like a consensus that the human fish has the cutest butt. <laughs> The LLC agrees. The LLC, yeah, the LLC agrees. agrees. Okay. The next question that you're uh, asking on behalf of Jesse. All right. She wants to know if you have hair on your thighs. On my thighs? Me personally? Yeah. Messenger yeah. bag? Um, not as much as you'd think. Not much hair. <laughs> <laughs> I have rather smooth thighs. And let me just put this out here right now. All right, this is a level of access to our audience. <laughs> Unparalleled in the world of late night television. And the last thing you're ever going to see is Jimmy Kimmel answering questions about his own genitals. The last thing you're ever going to see. All right, Millie, next question. Uh, does Messenger Bag have tan lines? Does Messenger Bag have... <laughs> no. Messenger Bag is uniformly pale. <laughs> Uh, does Murph's butt go out when you slap it? <laughs> Murph, are you okay with getting your butt slapped? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. go ahead. Who, who's gonna slap it? Messenger bag? Go ahead. Ooh, it does! It jiggles a little bit. It does, it jiggles go a little jiggle. bit. All right. 46 minutes to go. What's the next question? Millie, what is the next question? 46 minutes to go. Who has the second biggest dick? Oh. Okay, it is very cold in here. <laughs> yeah. The studio. The studio does not. I can't see everyone. The second? Second biggest. Okay. I can't I really see Murph. I haven't gotten Murph. a great look at messenger Fish, bags Fish, can yet. you step back? I need to get a look at Murph. <laughs> 
It's a... oh, I think maybe Murph has the second biggest. What? No. 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 No, no. no? no I don't think so. Second. Oh, it's a... Messenger yeah. bag has the biggest. What? Yeah. Right. From what I can see, but I'm at a weird angle. <laughs> I think it's a one-two over here Me? on the end. All you right. are messing with <laughs> All right. So it's, it seems like it's between me and... Uh, every, although I would say this. No four of these gentlemen have anything to be ashamed of. No. <laughs> Not at all. Thank you for your half-hearted applause. <laughs> Andres from Massachusetts, the 15-year-old boy in the front row. <laughs> throughout the episode. Oh, That's what great I question. Say, <laughs> great question. I hope not. Yeah. So, Messenger Bag, <laughs> it also should be noticed, Messenger Bag, you still have your boots on. <laughs> you just pulled the pants down. Yeah. You did not well, fully... I don't want to, like, bend over and remove my boots. I think, fair. I, no, that's fair. I think nude with boots is a good one. Nude with boots. Nude with boots. The Messenger Bag story. <laughs> All right. Melly, any other questions? <laughs> Melly, are you there or are you gone? All right. Okay. Teleprompter st is teleprompter just not, it's not happening, right? I should drop it? Probably not. We're having some fucking fun anyway. So <laughs> if you're on the phone, just if you hear me ask who's on the phone, just say hi, I'm on the phone. Who's on the phone? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yes, you're on the line. Hello? Yes, you. What's your name? How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, it's my first time calling. Quinn from California. Quinn from California. What, what part of what California? Part? Uh, L.A. Fuck LA. that. Fuck that noise. Me <laughs> no. Messenger bags from the Bay Area. He's getting hyphy all the time. Um, all right. Royce, no Royce and Chris Wilmot up in the Bay Area. They got your back, man. They, they post on the message board. They want you to be like a proud defender of the Bay Area. They really do. I, it's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but Quinn, how do you like L.A.? I like it a lot. I'm actually at uh, the corporate outing of a very popular uh, online streaming service that I can't divulge. Whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's intriguing. You know, we've had many problems historically with our online streaming service. <laughs> well, well, hey. That's not the one. Well done, Quinn. Let me know. Well done, Quinn. All right, so Quinn, what do you want to talk about tonight? Um, well, I wanted to call in because a friend of mine uh, flew in from Cal from not California, from Colorado to see the show. So you I just wanted to show some. You some have a friend support. who's here in the studio tonight. Yes. <laughs> who's that? Cackling. Noel. Noel. Noel, yeah, come on up here. Come on up here. She does not want to. Noel, you don't want to come up here. You don't well, think there's something. Noel, you don't think there's something amazing about the 21st century. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Noel. How's it going? I'm good. So nice to meet you. This is Messenger Bag, the human fish, and Murph. Hi. Uh, hello. So, so Noel, you're from Colorado, but in 2013, a guy in California can call and say hi to you in New York City. Isn't that? It's pretty fantastic. So, do you, you watch our show in Colorado regularly? I do. That's wonderful. Thank you. You picked a strange one to attend live. Here we Yeah, come on inside that tape. That's the limit of our light. Uh, so, how are you enjoying your first live experience at the show? Uh, kind of intense. Right intense. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's about, I don't, yeah, it's probably intense. You seem like you're not pleased. I'm, no, uh, well, I'm what? happy. <laughs> Careful. I'm happy to be here. Okay, but thank you for the diplomatic really answer. Awkward. It is. So even from the very back of the room, it's very awkward to be here. No, just this right now. Okay, fair. <laughs> fair. All right. Noel from Colorado, ladies Yay! and gentlemen. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for coming. And, uh, the slit to the back. The slit? Oh, the slit. There's the, a the fucking the, slit. Oh, it's just actually supposed to go to the back. Is <laughs> that how skirts what work? Wonderful, thank you. Yeah, everybody shift it around. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. <laughs> I do have a question, if that's all right. Yes, Quinn, you also well, have a question. Is. There is another one. Yeah, I just, oh. I just want to know. Fuck it, fuck it. Let it go. There's just two slits. Let it stay where it's going to go. Okay, oh, Quinn, your question. Okay. Beef jerky. Oh, yeah. Rob, I just want to know if uh, Merch junk is as manly as COVID is. As what? As manly as I hope it is? Oh, oh as, as you hope it is. All right. I thought you said as manly as Coppola's. <laughs> Here, let's see. What's your opinion? Just give let's see. Quick let's see. Human fish, can you step back a little bit? Human fish, can you step back a little bit? <laughs> That's manly junk right That's there. Manly. We need to know how manly you hope it is. is <laughs> gauge that. Yeah, it's hard for us because that is subjective. How manly did you want it to be, Quinn? <laughs> like, if you had to pick it. Pretty much the, the pinnacle of manliness. Like, if you had to pick, like, an actor. 
I'm talking like Jason Statham cock. <laughs> I think wow. I fall a little shy of Statham, but I'm all right with that. Hey, dude, give yourself some credit. I think you got some Statham going. <laughs> <laughs> Human fish, what is on your mind right now? Sausage party <laughs> versus sausage fiesta. Okay, who wins? Sausage fiesta. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Quinn, thank you for the call. We're going to go to the next call right now. I'm giving you a second to brace yourself, caller. Welcome to the show. How are you? favorite caller says his own hand signal and theme song accidentally hung up the phone before he could do his bit. Also, a, man, a person shining the flashlight at us. I'm wondering, is that, we don't have enough light? All right, great. That is Duke Ponzetti. That is the unmistakable voice of Duke Ponzetti. Calstead, I think you're gone. You gone? gone. That is sad. All right, next caller. I hear somebody on the line. Who's there? He's gone. Who is this? Dance in a circle. In the skirt. Dance in a circle? In the skirt. We're gonna fucking... Let's do it. All right. Wait, who are you? First of all, who are you? Just a random caller. Um... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you say a couple more things? <laughs> random caller. Is this a friend of mine? Not at all. <laughs> Oh, I, I wish I could call your show and make you do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dance in a circle, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're dancing dance in, in a circle. Like you ring around the posies. Like What's that? Pocket full of posies. Dance around the circle. <laughs> awesome. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us when you want to stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, stop. Okay. Anything else you want to talk about? Well, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Everything good? We're good? No genitals there? Okay. Let's slide on down there. Okay, nurse going back down towards the end. Random caller, anything else you want to talk about tonight? Not at all. Thank you. Is this Bobby Moynihan? Was that Bobby? No, it, it really isn't. Have a good night. You sound a lot ah. like Bobby Moynihan. All right. Uh, cool. So next caller, you're on the line. Yo, what's up? Not much, just hanging out in a weird, <laughs> we're hanging out in a weird piece of fabric with uh, three naked dudes. How about you? Rough on it's Smitty in Harlem. Smitty. I think, I think the dance party was on the right idea, but what I want to see is a four-man helicopter. <laughs> Wait, how? He wants us to Four swing help. our dicks. <laughs> you won't be able to see it. You won't be able to see it. No, but you guys, you'll see it. You'll know what's happening. Wait, Smitty in Harlem. I have a question though. Do you watch? Did you discover us on Manhattan Neighborhood Network? I, I watch on MNN, but I've been watching it on MNN for like a year. But did you did you find us through comedy, or did you find us because you yeah, were just... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you weren't just like flipping through the channels. <laughs> What's that? You weren't just like randomly flipping through the channels. No, not too random, but random enough. Okay, cool. So M Smitty wants a four-man helicopter. I've never tried this before. I've never tried it either. <laughs> Should we give it a shot? I have no yeah. idea. Yes. Be jerky, you ready? I'm ready. Rob Malone, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready, guys? <laughs> yeah. I kind of... <laughs> That is more than enough. That is more than enough. I hope the mics picked up that sound. Smitty, I've never done that before. It was really fun. Thank you. That was really fun. Oh, yes. Smitty, thank you so much for the call. At this point, we would have gone to our musical guest for the first time. That being said, we just have 36 more minutes. <laughs> Caller, welcome to the show. 212-757-1393. Call us up. Have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you give us a call? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got anybody on the line or no? Me? Am I on the line? Yes, you're on the line. How are you? This is Todd from Pittsburgh. How are you? Todd from Pittsburgh, my man. Yo, Todd from Pittsburgh. He makes all the gifts on Tumblr. Mm. 
real contributor <laughs> to the show. He also is trying to schedule a tour of a soda factory for me and him to go on in Pittsburgh, oh. and I'm psyched, man. I'm psyched. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I got to keep you updated on that. She didn't call me back today. He's been calling on a woman named Mary Jane at the Nature on a Bottling Company and trying I to convince swear, them yeah. that I'm a real celebrity and I should get a tour. <laughs> Yeah, she was impressed by the, um, when I said you were on The Office, she was like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, okay, Mary Jane, we can <laughs> stuff it out. That's cool, man. Yeah, I will drive out to Pittsburgh and hang out all day and we'll go, we'll get, they make great soda, man. They make Jamaica's finest ginger beer messenger bag. Yeah, that's yeah, cool you're guys. welcome to stay here, too. Bring whoever you want with you. I'll come stay with you. <laughs> who wants all to right. come to Pittsburgh and drink soda with Todd? I'm yeah, down. Yeah. Rob Malone? Anyone. Yeah. Anyone. And who else? Anybody in this whole crowd? <laughs> We might have our first TCGS field trip, Todd. Yeah. Okay, just, just a warning, I live in a one-bedroom apartment. Quite <laughs> a now. round of applause. Who's down to all sleep in Todd's one-bedroom apartment? Yeah. Well, that's be, that'd be awesome. If everybody can fit in here, that'd be fucking awesome. I'd have you guys anytime. There's like 40 people clapping. I might rent like a school bus. <laughs> we might all come out to Pittsburgh and sleep in your apartment, Todd. That, that's the deal. I'm getting my ass out of this apartment in November anyway, so like. We're gonna whatever. fuck that place We're up. <laughs> You're not getting that security deposit back, Todd. <laughs> so don't you pay that last month's rent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Todd, what do you want to talk about in regards to our genitalia? I was trying to get you guys to four way butt touch. <laughs> four way butt touch? Is everybody cool with that? Okay. That's gonna involve me having to back in. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. okay. Oh, nice. Wait, wait, I'm not touching anyone. Okay. <laughs> and I also want to know who likes it the most and who likes it the least. I'm okay with it. That feels nice. It feels warm. Yeah. It's who likes it the least? It sounds like the human fish. <laughs> Human fish likes it the least. The rest of us are all fine with it. Human fish. Worst versus best. Worse. Worse. <laughs> Worse. Human fish. Human fish. Happy you volunteered to do this bit last minute or regretting it? Regretting it instead. <laughs> Human fish. Read the topic online and know what I'm getting into or never read it any week? I can't read. <laughs> Good excuse, my friend. All right, Todd, anything else you want to talk about tonight? Not tonight. You guys have fun. I love the butt, butt touch, though, for sure. Thank you, Todd. Thank you for making right. us do that. I did not anticipate, Murph, I did not anticipate people forcing us to do physical activities. Well, no, activities. because, yeah, it was supposed to be just ask questions about the genitals and immediately turned into dance and but do this that. show, this show, it's like a game of ping pong. Like, yeah. we volley the topic out there, and then they hit it back at us harder than we ever expected. <laughs> that happens a lot. Yeah. All right. Caller, you are on the line. Who is there? Hello. Yes, who's this? Oh, this is John from Idaho. John from Idaho. Wonderful. I'm so sick. Yeah. Uh, you may be our first ever call from Idaho. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I am. That's cool. What do you want to talk about tonight? Um, well, I have a question for each one of you. Okay. I like that. Uh, the question is, uh, for each one of you personally, what do you find remarkable about each other's genitals? Oh, okay. <laughs> One thing that you find remarkable. One thing you find about remarkable each about each person's genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how about each one? Each one of us has to say one thing about the other three per people's genitals. The human fish for a fish has, yeah, yeah, each a, one of you. Uh, has amazingly manicured pubic hair. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's a that's say really that. well done. Well made. <laughs> Uh, messenger, messenger bag, I think, I find, I think just size-wise, quite impressive. Remarkable size. Messenger bag, are you single? Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, if you weren't before, it sounds like you might be now. <laughs> All right. Okay. What? Why? <laughs> Someone needs to say something remarkable Gethard about... Gethard has great uh, testicles to penis ratio. It looks like, it looks like those... <laughs> Those balls fit that cop really nicely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta say something about Murph. I can't see him. Oh, human fish has something he wants to say. Everyone's appropriately red. <laughs> <laughs> appropriately red? 
not not too pink, not too pink, not too pale, uh -huh. just the right amount okay. of yeah, coloration. That's good. Can, okay. I, can, you, can you take a step back so I can see Murph's penis, please? <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I think Murph has the most fun penis. <laughs> It's the, the main structure. Out of the four of us, his is the one where when I see it, I'm like, hee <laughs> I would say that. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you so much. I wish we had time to keep going with that round, but I think that, that answered your question. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for the call. Spread word in Idaho. That's a state where I feel like people have nothing to do and it's ripe for the taking. So spread word that we exist. And I mean no offense. Would you, would you argue with that? Hung up. All right, we got a video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. I don't know much about it, and I wasn't told how to set it up. All I do know is that last week, Connor Ratliff, who's uh, going to win a gold medal in the 2016 Olympics, he started a contest where you had to guess his, uh, his, uh, his number, his money ball number. And I think he's going to come on and tell us how the contest is going. I don't know if he's got a winner. but yeah, we, The video will reveal the winner. The video will reveal the winner. The winning number. The winning number of Connor's... Money ball contest. We will see who will win his oversized blanket. Ladies and gentlemen, a video by Connor Ratliff. <laughs> One, two, three, four, go. You're in the Olympics. You're in the Olympics. You're in the Olympics. And you can achieve your dreams. You can do Either of you have heard of a little movie called Moneyball. People are overlooked for a variety of biased reasons and, and perceived flaws. I want you guys to figure out what's my Moneyball number. What's my Moneyball number? <laughs> Three. Three. Ten million. Uh, a four, 145. Faster. Negative seven. Negative ten in some contests. Three. Again, I'm sorry, I've got three. Uh, 22. 23. 89. Infinity. <laughs> Infinity. <laughs> Infinity. 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 Interesting. It's a technically a number. Right? Yeah. That's infinity, right? That's infinity. That's infinity, yeah. It's like a little bow tie, right? That's right. It's your money ball number. Right? This is infinity. Infinite possibilities. That's inspiring, right? That's inspiring. It's the opposite of zero. And you're not a zero. No. Right there. Oh, God. <laughs> Connor Ratliff, ladies and gentlemen. Connor, why don't you step into the light here? Oh, yeah. Oh. So your oh, number... I we were lowering the whole thing. No. <laughs> so your number was infinity. Yeah. Did anyone guess that? Uh, yeah. Uh, we actually had five people... Oh, we had five people guess uh, infinity. Four of them are going to get prizes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jack Miller. This was in, whoever guessed it first. Jack Miller, at Jack Miller third. Uh, he's gonna get this uh, stadium blanket if you gentlemen want to hold this. Yeah, it's got me on it. Uh, second, yeah. Uh, second prize is uh, K Cassie 19 on Twitter. He's gonna get a signed copy of my uh, Moneyball Blu-ray. So we hope you have an invested in Blu-ray player if you don't if you don't have one. Uh, third prize is just gonna get this uh, T-shirt with me on it, and that is uh, Tron Office Hours. So you get that, uh, and then fourth prize, uh, Jason Spina or Spina is going to get this uh, Lifeway Kiefer uh, hand sanitizer and lip balm. Uh, and then one person guessed the numbers from the TV show Lost, so I'm going to give them a prize that's a signed photo of the cast of Lost saying "You Lost." Uh, not signed by the cast of Lost, just signed by me. Okay. Yeah. All right, Connor. How's the Olympic training been going? Pretty good. Pretty good. 
What was your like? What was your workout like today? I didn't work out today. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I I didn't I got, didn't get enough sleep today either. So today was kind of a yeah. low water mark for the training. And have you have you zeroed in on an event yet? Nope, not even close. <laughs> not even close. Have uh, you participated uh, in any Olympic events? No. Uh, I will say that uh, legitimately, uh, when I did sit-ups on the show a few weeks ago. Uh, it hurt me so much that for about five days, if I laughed or coughed, I was in a I would like fall over in agony. Okay. Well, so that's Connor, a good feel of the burn. It sounds like it's going great. Um, I wish we had more time to talk, but we've got to answer a lot more questions about ours and each other's genitals. Yeah. How are your How are your penises feeling? I feel good. One of the cast members, uh, while we were watching your video, commented, and I quote, "My asshole is so cold." <laughs> do they feel like? Do you, I know you're not. I, I know that you, you're like no one can see them. I mean, you've seen, you've shared something with each other. Like yeah. A, a, like this is like a bond. It's like a fellowship the of the rings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you feel conspicuous under there? I feel really surprisingly comfortable underneath here. Yeah, that's good. You should you should feel comfortable under underneath. Everyone okay. should. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the phones. Who's on the line? Hello? Yes. Yeah, yeah you. Uh, uh, Nick from my friends in Chavin call me Horny Nick. <laughs> Did you say your name is Horny Nick? Uh, my friends in Chavin. Uh, Banana Man wants to know, uh, Chris, about it, uh, who, uh, two questions. One question, first question, uh, Banana Man. I'm a little nervous. Is, uh, the, the dick with who has the veins, the most veins, the veinous dick. Banan you're friends with Banana Man, and he wants to know whose dick has the most veins? Yeah, first question for Banana Man, but three questions okay. coming up. Here, wait, get in the light. Okay. Chris is pretty vascular. I'm pretty vascular. It, must, really, uh, it might be me. Veinous. I think it's you. I think it's me. I think I have the veiniest. Okay. Okay. Second question. <laughs> <laughs> Whose dick is the male is the most stinkiest dick? Stinkiest? <laughs> that is a question from Banana Man. He loves the word stinkiest. I don't know that we want to go there. We're not doing that. Okay, third yeah. question. <laughs> what is it? Truth or, truth or dare, uh, like the game. <laughs> truth or dare truth for me? For the game, yeah, like the kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what do you do when a maniac says truth or dare? After asking how stinky your dick is. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I can say truth, and then if it's something I don't want to tell you, I'll just. Truth or dare. Hold on. What is your fucking story, horny Nick? Where are you from, man? Where are you from? Uh, from uh, where I come. Uh, my family is from uh, Moscow, but I live in uh, Brooklyn right now. I feel like, is this guy faking it? Is this guy putting on a character? Yeah. <laughs> you are? I drank a, uh, two beers, but I'm fine. I <laughs> is this guy for real or, for, or pretending? If this is your real voice, we'll keep going. But if not, I'm going to have to hang up on you, man. OK. Uh, truth or dare? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't hang up on Horny Nick. <laughs> I can't. How can I hang up on Horny Nick, the half-drunk Russian? <laughs> truth. Let's go truth. Oh, OK. If Okay, is it true if I ask you to kiss message your back a dick? <laughs> no, that is a, a dare. Turns into a dare. <laughs> that That's is a, a dare. <laughs> that does not qualify as a truth. No. By any stretch of the imagination. That's a dare through and through, and I think you knew that, Horny Nick. I think you knew that, Horny Nick, the half drunk Russian. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, also, no, thank you for putting this show on for everybody. It's I like it. Thank it's my pleasure. Thank you for calling, and I'm so glad you called. Call back anytime, all right? Yeah, okay, uh, who's next on the phones? We got no time. Yeah, yeah, you. Colin, that's me. Colin. Hey, okay. Wait, so where, where are you from, Colin? I'm here in Chicago with, uh, with Luke, who's also from oh, Chicago. Oh, yes, Luke in Chicago. Colin in Chicago. How are you guys? We're, we're doing well. I don't know. I'm not looking at him. He's in the other room. I'm pacing currently. I'm going to be in Chicago in a couple weeks, man. We should hang out. 
yeah, you should come to my house. I have bunk beds. <laughs> so it's not weird if we sleep together, but we can still be in the same room. Yeah. Colin, is this the first time you've invited a naked man into your bunk bed? <laughs> I mean, you're not, you're not going to be naked here. Is that how you sleep? No, I sleep in my underwear. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, Colin, what did you want to talk about tonight? Uh, well, I have a couple of things. Um, our friend Jake is there, all the way from the UK. Jake from the UK. Where's Jake? <laughs> all right. I, Duke Ponzetti's shining a flashlight in my eyes. Uh, if Jake wants to come up, he's welcome to. But that's nice that Jake from the UK. Can, you don't have to. Jake, Jake, do you want to? Jake, you want to come say hi to your friends, Colin and Luke? Hi, Colin and Luke. Hey, Jake, how's it going, man? It's going. Am I, am I okay here? Yeah, it's going great. good. That's good. What? Do you watch our show in the UK? It's on at four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Do you do? But you can watch it afterwards on the internet. I can. You don't. <laughs> I do sometimes. Your friends from Chicago told you to come do this while you were in New York, and you don't know much about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've dragged you up here, and you're talking with four guys who have their dogs Luke, out. Luke really likes you, by the way. Luke, likes Luke, Luke who's on the phone. People really likes love you. Messenger Bag, man. Yeah. People yeah. love Messenger Bag. Yeah. All right. Well, how do you feel about me? I think you're pretty great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You should see his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I feel like I should be in the skirt with you. I don't you know. I feel like I should out. be in there. Are you serious? You want to come you in the skirt? Get... I'm not going to take my clothes off. Oh, yeah. I'm no, not going to no, take no, my clothes no, no, off. No no no. No, 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 no. You can't be that guy, man. You, gotta take you can't be that guy. Okay, I you won't go in the skirt. <laughs> Very fair. Fine. Well, thank you for coming all the way on a visit from the UK. So nice to meet you. No problem. You. All right. Bye. So, Colin and Luke, what else do you want to talk about? All right, I have two questions. Mm -hmm. One penis related, one not. Fair. All right, can I get a quick assessment of messenger bag to messenger bag? That has nothing to do with my dick. I mean, well, he's really wearing a messenger bag, so no, that's I just his, assess... I mean his ball sack. Oh, his ball sack. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, bag. <laughs> oh it's... It, yeah, I mean, he's lifting up... <laughs> he's lifting up to give a better view, oh. and I would say... It's a nice scrotum. Uh, a hair, it's hairy. It's, a, it's hairy. It's got some hair. It's, a nice it's got some pouch. hair. <laughs> it's, it's, in it's, in it's a hand, nice so. taut pouch. It's a nice taut pouch. As Murph said, it's a nice taut pouch. God damn it! This show has my name on it. Oh. All right. What's your next question? All right. It's for human fish. Uh huh. All right. Forks. Versus sporks. Sporks versus sporks. Sporks. Sporks win. Sporks win. It's what I thought. Wonderful. Well, thank you for the call so much from Chicago. I'll be out there for Lollapalooza. Maybe I'll run into you. Let's... All right. Yeah, give me a call. Bump that open always. Cool. I'll, I'll just call you. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go to our next caller. <laughs> Who's on the phone? Me. Who's that? Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. All the lights just turned off. All the lights turned off. Our audience is busting out some flashlights and LEDs. This is legit. We were told that our lights might break. JD Amato and Rich from MNN are rushing out here. Should we walk over to the light? We have one other light that's out. We gotta shuffle. Camera, please follow us. The lights did break. We were Rob, Rob, Rob. Jesse, drop that so the audience can see. We want them to see this. We want to see this train. So we walk over to the light that is functioning. There is intern Paige's dad, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for letting this happen on your family vacation. All right, we're back in the light. We do need your flashlight shining on us now. I think Keep Mimi, on. sorry we invaded your space. All right, so I got distracted. Um, what is your question on, on the line? Could you order yourself from left to right on the least carrier to the most carrier? Order ourselves left to right. So from starting those. here would be the least hairy person. Right. At the far end would be the hairiest person. You are definitely right where you should be. I'm right where I should be. <laughs> It is true. A combination of genetics and manscaping dictates that I should be here. <laughs> Human um, fish has taken his rightful place, and who's here? <laughs> well, I'm also Did recently you trained. Hair? If we're just going off of pubes. I think, I think you got me there. I think this is the correct order, least to most hairy. The biggest fish would be at the end. Who should be? The yeah. biggest fish would be at the end. He's a very hairy man. He is at the end, dude. <laughs> no, I figured he would be. 
Huh? He's 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 Why are we in a fight? <laughs> I got nothing against you, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I thought this what? show was gonna be the worst, but I think it's my favorite. Man. <laughs> I love you, man. What's that? I love you, man. I love you. What was your name again? Remind me. In the light fiasco, I got caught up. Chestnut. Chestnut? <laughs> yeah. Chestnut. Where are you from? A forest. From where? A forest. A forest. forest. All right. Do you know pine cones? Yeah. <laughs> name and there's someone who calls from Maryland named Aunt Treesap. Yeah. You got a whole forest theme on the show. <laughs> Messenger bag, I've never asked you, how did you find our show? I actually was just flipping through and found Eminem. Yeah. Where do you live? Uh, at the time, I was living on 181st, but I live on 163rd. All right, all right. Uh, and then, so you wait, you just found it. How many episodes did you watch before you showed up? Um, like, I saw bits and pieces, and it didn't make a lot of sense. And then <laughs> the first episode I think I watched was uh, Real Estate and the Let's Get Real. Uh-huh. And uh, you guys were giving out a lot of good advice about moving to New York, which I could relate to, and I was like, I really right. like this show. And two months later, you're standing with your dick out. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chestnut from the forest. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next on the phone? Hello? Yes, you're on the line. Yo, what's up? What's up? Who's this? Don't worry about it. You'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, cool, man. Uh, I want to ask, who, who's the girthiest? Who's the girthiest? Okay. Even though you won't answer my question, I guess we'll answer yours. Yeah, fucking answer it. Whoa! Hold on, man. I want to know why you're being so aggressive. Why are you being a jerk off? Because I'm starting the backlash against random messenger bag. Ooh. Fuck messenger bag. This is Orlando. I got is this that random vibe. Orlando? I, I felt like Orlando has hated me for weeks now. Orlando, why don't you like messenger bag? Because I'm so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> messenger bag says you're. <laughs> messenger bag says he's too pretty for you, Lando. Fuck it. No, 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 no love for messenger bag. <laughs> Orlando, what's going on? You're like the nicest, most laid-back guy involved in this show. Uh, hey, hey, can I have my bit, man? I just want to hate that messenger bag. <laughs> Orlando, this is heartbreaking. Oh. <laughs> Not that heartbreaking. All right, so we'll go girthiest. I don't know. How do you? I can't. How do you judge that? I feel like it's a tie between you and human fish. And fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We might have to switch the order here, so we can <laughs> really get a look. Jesus. <laughs> I think. I think it's. Uh, I think it's gathered by a. <laughs> I don't know if I had a, if I had a skin flap. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Orlando. Just yeah. Thank you for the call. I hope you're doing all right, man. This is out of character. You're, you're a beloved and very positive presence at this show. I yeah, am just being a day for fun. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I still love you. Have a good show, man. I love you so Great. much. Why, Why aren't you here TV? tonight, man? We miss you. Yeah, I'm in Queens. It's not as good. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Well, maybe we'll see you next week, Orlando. See you next week. Bye. All right. Who's on the phone? 12 minutes to go. I think we're doing great. Better than expected, right? Better for sure. All right. All right. And thank you, everybody, for calling in. And thank you to our crowd. I feel so blessed that we have a show, man, where they don't even have... We can't, if we even can't... The lights turn off halfway through and our crowd still supports us. That's crazy, right, Human Fish? Yeah, man. <laughs> and it somehow makes people find us even more charming that the lights don't work. Oh, Emma, Emma Noble's up here. <laughs> Emma is just wandering up here. Emma, what's going on? I, this is not a planned thing that I know of. I have a question on behalf of Shannon O'Neill. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. Of course she said. You and Shannon are forming like an alliance. It's been formed. It's been a while. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, okay. Which dick would make the best snorkel? <laughs> So who's who's got any curvature? Is that what this question is? I have to is? walk. How do we gauge it? 
How do we gauge it? Uh, Shannon O'Neill wants to know whose dick would make the I best. I guess the human snorkel. fish because it's from under the sea. <laughs> well, it's. I kind of think his size and shape wise, too. I'm trying to give a curve. Maybe that looks more like a snorkel. Doing puppetry of the penis. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's human fish to answer the question. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. As always, my number one creative partner all time, asking, of course, the weirdest question asked on the show thus far. Who's on the line? Who's on the phones? This is K Sec. K Sec, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so I have two questions. The first, uh, I'm surprised it's not come up yet, but uh, can I get a. Uh... A, a, a circumc circumcision status on everyone. I am, as you can see, circumcised. I am also circumcised. Okay. I am not. Messenger bag. Messenger bag Wait, is not. And fish is. Fish is. Messenger bag is the only one who isn't. I wasn't going to say anything, but it came up. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel like uh, that's the natural way of life. Yeah, I, I'm jealous of that. I wish cool. I was. I don't know, man. I, I don't know how that works at all. What? Being uncircumcised? Being uncircumcised, yeah. I mean, it's probably like the same, I don't know. <laughs> Do you like pee out of your butt or something? <laughs> we broke the news here first. Uncircumcised people pee out of their butt. All right. Anything else, Kasek? Uh, yeah. Uh... For, for each of you, uh, what animal most embodies the spirit of each of your penis? What animal most embodies the spirit of your penis? Okay. Um, for just ourselves? Yeah, yeah, go for that. Okay, for, okay, let's everybody think about that. Um, uh, snail. <laughs> Nurse is a snail. Why? I don't know. I feel, uh... I feel like it's a little snaily tonight. <laughs> My, I'm gonna say, uh, I don't know, wait, you guys got any? I feel like a lemur. <laughs> a lemur, why is that? I don't know, it's got personality. It's Person ventrous. <laughs> okay. Human fish? Snapping turtle? <laughs> <laughs> My penis is a shark, because if it stops swimming, it dies. <laughs> I just was hoping Todd would make a gif of that. <laughs> All right, so that's what we got. We got a, a shark, a snapping turtle, a snail, and a lemur. <laughs> Kasek, thank you for being a supporter of the show and for the great Chris, questions. Chris, Chris, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Duke Ponzetti and Drew Johnston. All right. Drew, come over here. Oh, yeah. God, uh, what so is wait, this? Uh, so to end the show... We have like a bunch of ideas of like uh, games and stuff that you, you guys could do. You have games you want to. This, yeah. Can we say this has gone better than we any of Absolutely. That's why we haven't gone to these. We have like 25 games and we haven't gotten to any of them. So we decided okay. we're just going to read them all and then um, in the spirit of this show. We the just show did came an to be, episode that was just us reading a list of yeah, your guys. Yeah, but then ideas. we're going to let Messenger Bag decide oh, which okay. one we do. Yeah. So you're going to read show. all the games and Messenger Bag's yeah, going to pick one. I hope you choose more wisely than did that led to this yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to read the, the first one there? No like. Go Step further. All right, here we go. All right, great. Uh, the first one is penis long jump. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, you can do human. Yeah, well, that's kind of up to you guys to figure out. We're going to have to figure out yeah. what these games are and then uh, play them. Human sent to pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> kind of did that. We already <laughs> kind of did that. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Uh, uh, this one's called uh, Dickie McNixon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's one, a game we called Elephant with Big Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and this one's just called Make Em Kiss. <laughs> yeah. uh, tea Bag the Pea Bag. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, then we've got, uh, oh, Helicopter. Oh, we already did Helicopter. Um, play Doctor. Uh, <laughs> What do we got here? Oh, no, uh, no hands loudest noise. Mm -hmm. Kind of did that one too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Chinese. You know, if we do that one, you two got to crash down there with those mics. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Uh, Chinese dick trap. Uh, oh, it's like docking. Yeah. Uh, Six minutes. Tie the boat to the pier. And that's that's a pun. Yep. Pier. Pier. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, snake eating another snake. Oh God. <laughs> My, one of my favorites, the Pube Goldberg Machine. <laughs> uh, this one's a good one. Uh, Come. Uh, 
the schlongest yard. <laughs> and, and then, then, uh, and then uh, the last one is... Uh, the one we kind of really want to the see. The one we really want to see. No hands erection contest. <laughs> no hands erection No hands. So, so yeah. we're going to... Okay, that's so Messenger Mac is going to pick. Uh, Out of everything we've heard. That's a tough one. Do you remember any of them? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I inquire about... Chinese dick trap or whatever. Why did you pick that? <laughs> well, I think I think that one could work since you've got the foreskin still. Right. <laughs> that makes that easier. Oh, right. Right. Oh, right. 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 Oh, no, no, no. Also, right, it weirds me out that the only face I can see is 40-year-old Goosey. <laughs> right. the, oh, the grinning right. face right. of 40-year-old right. right. Goosey. Right. Go ahead and do no hands erection. Oh, yeah. No hands erection. Oh, that's gross. It's like a race. It's like a race. What, what does the crowd think? Come. What? Why the sound? We interrupted all these great calls. No hands loudest noise. No hands loudest noise. No hands loudest noise. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Should we go one at a time? One at a time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. okay. Okay, messenger bag, you're up. Nothing. He's got nothing. Okay, human fish, you're up. Oh. <laughs> He's winning. <laughs> Murph just made a really loud slap noise. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> Murph won. Murph, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you, Duke. Thank you, Joe. Duke Ponzetti. Hugh Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, of course. Is that the end of the episode? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for supporting our show and watching our show. This was surprisingly fun. Thank you guys for all the wonderful calls that you're putting up with this. Thanks to everybody who showed up tonight. We had a really great time. The LLC, the man behind the plant, Mimi on the hoops. All the guys who kept the show together, Rich and JD for getting the lights back on. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Spread word on the show. Let us know how you feel about it. Join the message board. This show is your show. Next week, we are so fucking psyched and honored to bring you episode 100, also known as episode hundo. We're not even quite sure what it's going to be yet, but we cannot believe we made it this many. It's all because of you guys. Thanks so much. That being said, we always end the show on a song, and it's more appropriate than ever this week. I'll leave it to you, ladies and gentlemen. We love you so much. Viva la Rats Carlton. You guys are the best. Thank you for supporting the show. Oh, everybody's watching this part. Are we still taping this? Let's stop taping this part. Yo, I can see I don't think we're broadcasting anymore. Still recording! Still recording! Still recording. Great. <laughs> Great. This one went a lot better than I thought it would, right? <laughs> Mimi, can you talk? Mine are right behind Mimi. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Mimi! Can you toss me mine? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, my underwear. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, this is this is by far the most awkward part of it all. Uh, all right, everybody good? Hold on, I think this young man. Okay, Murph. Ready? Huh? There we go. The magic of television. <laughs> Thanks for coming this week. Uh, we're all going out to uh, Lincoln Park tonight. It's a bar named after the band. Um, do a favor and 
Help us by clearing out as quickly as possible.